My country is in pain, John Maston. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroy a way of life. Who are you? <laughs> Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. So you are the bounty hunter, huh? Have you found your prey yet? No, sir. Perhaps you can uh, do me a favor while I find these men for you. There are fire bottles over there. Use them to burn down some of these houses. And what makes you think I'd do that? You want to find Javier Escuela, don't you? Uh, my man and I will finish our business here, and we can talk back at Escalera. The next time I see you, I need some answers, Captain. Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here, because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier, Senor Escuela, is Javier, to see? No sé, señor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio. The Stabacon, uh, Grande Americano? Yo no sé. No. Ag again, I got that. But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman, a teacher, a human being, not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pain me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? A man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir, and I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. I'm gonna take the train. You can come with me or ride ahead to El Matadero. Unos señores aquí hablaban de buscar tesoro en el río de this day. I've been hearing some things about you, John Marston. Really? That perhaps you're more in need of my help than I thought. Is that so? That some recent encounters with this Bill Williamson fella haven't gone exactly in your favor. Funny how everyone seems to know my business, but nothing about the men I'm looking for. It isn't easy getting the locals to talk. It's the only way to travel, so they keep telling me. We'll get off at Casa Madrugada and ride from there. There should be some horses for us across the way. Easy now. All right, let's head to El Matadero and see what they know about Luis. Let's go! We need to find a man called Carlos. I was told he could help us. We'll ask around when we get there, but we don't want to draw attention. See if you can keep your gun holstered for once. You're the hero around here, Mr. Ricketts, not me. What does the army want with this Luisa girl anyway? She's a rebel, and apparently close to their leader, Reyes. She's a pretty young thing. That's normally reason enough for Alinde. So I've heard. She's a good woman, 
The teacher, if they lay a finger on her, I swear I'll feed those bastards their balls. Here we are. Looks kind of sleepy, don't it? Whoa, there. All right, let's find this Carlos guy. Carlos. See? Si. We're here for Luisa. Is she still being held up in the caves? Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. I will keep them talking, senor. The rest I will leave to you. Hope you're ready for this. Bochornoso, ¿verdad? No lo voy a decir otra vez. ¡No puedes estar aquí! Eh, oye, soy yo, Carlos. Pues trabajo en el matadero. No me importa quién eres. Esta es una zona militar prohibida. Vete a casa. Me gustan sus botas. Muy bonitas. Mi hermana tiene las mismas. Pinche campesino de mierda. Te voy a colgar al lado de tus cerdos. Váyanse al infierno, traidores. Well, I say we've waited long enough. Follow me, we'll shoot our way in there. You're not covering me! Call yourselves, soldiers! This way. Nearly there. Coming with us. She must be in here. I'm gonna see if I can blow the door open. You keep guard. There'll be more on the way. What the hell? Deal with those bastards, Marston. Behind that table. Stand back, damn it. Here goes.
Come on, boy! Poor girl's barely alive. Right, let's see if we can all get out of here in one piece. Looks like Carlos left us some horses. Come on! <sighs> Let's go before any more of them show up. meeting us here. I hope he's coming. I don't want to wait longer than we need to. There he is. Talk about cutting it fine. Luisa, gracias a Dios. Thank you for saving me. You're good men. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Gasquela one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you Johnny's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking. Está bien, mamá. Está bien. No. No. Ah, señor Marston. Mamá, papá. Este es el gringo que me salvó. Muchas gracias. Uh, my family is indebted to you. Forgive my English. What's happening? Great and terrible things. The revolution is coming. The country will be in turmoil once more. This time, we hope it's the last time. Does that seem likely? With Abraham Reyes, anything is possible. Where's your family going? My parents and my brother are headed to the hills. My sister has to flee. The army have an unfortunate way of treating women. 
And you? Don't worry about me, Mr. Marston. I'm living in history. I'm not afraid to die. Your nobility is almost as affecting as your naivete. I would rather be dead than a cynic like you, Mr. Marston. I would too. I know you're not really like that. You saved me. Oh, Luisa, ¿quién va a salvar a Miranda? Tenemos que llevar al puerto su barco sale al anochecer. No queda tiempo. Mr. Marston, can I ask one more favor of you? Can you take my sister to the docks? We are sending her to work for a kind man in the Yucatan. She's too young for revolution. Okay. Anything I can do to help out? The boat leaves at sundown. Miranda, vamos. Oh, adios, Miranda. Ten cuidado. Adios. Te amo. My brother has given us his stagecoach. They are good horses. What do they want now? Act normal. It's nothing to worry about. Te conozco. Eres un pinche rebelde. Disparen! No le dejen escapar!
Not likely. I ain't planning on staying very long. In some other life, then? Maybe. You should get going. Travel safely. Andeles lindas y patrióticas. Dale, que ustedes son putas y lo saben. Por favor, no me obligas. Oh, mi amor, nadie te está obligando a hacer nada. Solamente quiero que animes el hombre que va a salvar a tu padre. ¿Tú quieres a tu padre, cierto que sí, linda? What's going on here, Captain de Santa? Just a little recruitment. Nothing for you to be concerned about. You boys using women soldiers now? Our customs are none of your concern. Apparently not. De Santa Mariconcito, me encontraste algunas chicas. Ay, mamacita, ¿dónde has estado toda mi vida? Ve, ve, mujeres. Ay, me gusta. Es tu Patriots were keen to make your acquaintance, ah, el coronel. Fantástico. I love Patriots. Ah, hey, señor Marston, you here to fight the war? And we shall make a Patriot of you yet. I hope so. Any word of those men? Oh, yes. I heard they were riding with Reyes. I wanted to talk to you about it. Uh, the Santo, uh, hable con él. Tell him what I wanted. Huh? Uh, um, His Excellency, El Coronel, would like to employ you in escorting a train down rebel country. The job is dangerous. But you'll have the honor of... <laughs> Another patriot? Of knowing that you said Mexico in her fight against forces that would destroy our society. How much you offer? 20,000 pesos. And information as to the whereabouts of Javier Escuella. Okay, then. Mexico loves you, Mr. Martin. She has a funny way of showing it. So it looks like it is me and you again, Gringo. And there was me, thinking my dance card was full. What do you mean? I just said it's a pleasure to see such a noble patriot at work. Your sarcasm is childish and pathetic. This is an important assignment. Our orders are to deliver these munitions to Chuparrosa. They will help to finally crush the rebels. I hate to break it to you, Captain, but I think you're gonna need a lot more than this. I know. Most of the supplies are already in Chuparrosa. We will deliver them all by train to our base camp in Diez Coronas. Our forces are close to establishing control in that region. Why didn't DeSanta come with us? Why do you think? Because he is hardly a soldier. I'm sure he has other important business, like mailing letters and sweeping floors and flirting with barmen. He fought with Are you, you defending mind. that pathetic little errand boy? I did not see him fight. Without me, we would have lost the battle. He knows less than nothing on how to lead men. Yet he's the colonel's second in command. That is a good job. You are a funny man, gringo. De Santa licks the colonel's boots and plays with his waiter friend. That is all. I am against this brazo derecho, his right arm. I am one of the few men he respects. Is that right? You and him have something special, do you? The colonel needs a maid, a woman he cannot fuck. De Santa is that woman. <laughs> The battle at Torquemada was hard, but the Soro de Azul, now that was some fun. Am I right, gringo? Fun? Burning people's homes, killing innocent people. That's your idea of fun? A woman picks up a rifle, a child picks up a rifle, they become soldiers. Those are the rules of war. They ain't my rules. So you would allow a woman to shoot you? That makes you an idiot, not a gentleman. Does it seem quiet to you? I don't know. You tell me. We have not seen a single rebel yet. I'd say that's a good thing, wouldn't you? Cantale! Rebeldes! Ma 
¡Mátenlos! my actions at Torquemada and called me a hero. He asked for me to be given this important assignment. Why would he do that? The cabron hates me! Yeah, but doesn't everybody hate you? It's another ambush! He was the puta! Yes, it seems to be on schedule. At least one thing is going right for us. I agree. We made off to a good start. You shoot well, Gringo. Tell me something. What is your weapon of choice? What do you mean? Come, oh, my friend. Your belt is full of weapons. Which is your favorite for attacking a man? You ain't right in the head, Captain. Do you want to know what mine is? Not particularly. Truth. You're ridiculous. Truth. Nothing hurts a traitor more than the knowledge his enemy fights for something true and noble. We are close to Chuparosa now. I still have a bad feeling about this. Tell me, why are you here? What did they promise you? 20,000 pesos in Javier Escuela. That is a lot of promises. Do you know where Escuela is? You think I am going to tell you that before you have fulfilled your obligations? Do not take me for a fool. I'm giving you no reason not to trust me. You must understand why we are suspicious of you. Most American vigilantes come here to help the rebels. It is strange you have chosen to work for the army. I'm not working for you. How many times do I have to say this? Call it what you want, Gringo. We are exchanging favors here. I ain't seen many favors come my way yet. Abraham Reyes is trying hard to recruit Gringos to fight for him. His propaganda is everywhere. He promises women, gold, and more silver. Money and a chance to interfere in business that is not your own. How can any American resist? I've done everything you've asked of me. If Olinde doesn't give me a Escuela and Williamson after this, I think it's best I go ask the rebels directly. Is that the threat? Be warned. You are only alive right now because of me. Here we are, at last. Soldados, abordamos el tren! I do not think we have seen the last of the rebels. New recruits can't win a fight like this. I need you to man the Gatling gun. I ain't the soldier here, Captain. Do not question me, gringo. Just do as I say. Andale! Ojos abiertos! Get behind that gun! I am not taking any chances. I hope you know how to use that. 
Bar. Can't be that hard. Just point and pull the trigger. Por Dios! We will all be killed! Don't worry, Captain. I've used one of these before. For a cold-hearted killer, you're an anxious son of a bitch, ain't you? We have to go point that at me! I think it is right to be anxious. Yeah, well, I wasn't exactly expecting a pleasant picnic by the seaside myself.
fall. The base camp is just at the top of the hill. That was madness. You did well, compadre. Very well. Whatever I can promise you in return, you have earned it. I don't think the Santa expected us to come back from this. Did you want to kill him, or should I? No. Until I find Escuela, he's more used to me a lot. want to speak to you. Dios mío! Sobre... Senor Marston, thank you for your efforts. The escort was a success. At least some of your men survived. I didn't think to survive myself. My whole life I have dreamed of a glorious death. Vamos! Rapido antes uh, que nos ataquen otra vez. The socialist pigs cannot be allowed to win. That's a wonderful news for you. Quite wonderful, in fact. You know the men you hunt? They have been captured in Chupa Rosa. 